In this first part of the lesson, we will study the molecules that make up our food. The food we eat contains many polymer molecules. We find carbohydrates in rice, bread and vegetables, fats and proteins in butter, milk, fish and meats. We start with carbohydrates. When you hear the word carbohydrate, do you think sugar or starch? If you do, you're right. The basic building block of the carbohydrates is a sugar, the monosaccharide. Monosaccharides are simple sugars or aldehydes or ketones containing three to seven carbon atoms and many hydroxyl groups. Glucose or dextrose, C6, H12, O6, is the most important of them all. Glucose is a six carbon sugar with an aldehyde group at carbon one and hydroxyl groups on the rest of the carbon atoms. We can also draw glucose as a cyclic molecule. The cyclic form may be written two ways. Alpha D-glucose with a hydroxyl group pointing downwards or beta D-glucose with a hydroxyl group pointing upwards. Another six carbon sugar is fructose. It is a sugar of fruits and honey. In honey, fructose and glucose are present in equal amounts. Other natural sugars, called disaccharides, contain two sugar molecules joined by an ether linkage or glycosidic bond. A disaccharide consisting of two alpha-glucose molecules is called maltose. We will see it again later today. Sucrose, C12, H22, O11, or table sugar, is obtained from sugar cane or sugar beets. It consists of one glucose molecule and one fructose molecule. Polymers of these mono or disaccharides are called polysaccharides. They are also known as complex carbohydrates. In plants, the major polysaccharides are cellulose and starch. Cellulose is a principal component of the plant cell wall. It is a polymer of glucose molecules of the beta form. Cellulose forms fibrous chains found in the stems and leaves of plants and in the peel, flesh, and seeds of fruits. Cellulose constitutes the so-called fiber in our diet. Starch is a storage carbohydrate in plants. Rice, wheat, and corn, and root crops like potatoes, camote, or cassava are rich in starch. Starch contains thousands of glucose units. It has two components. Amylose is a continuous chain of alpha-glucose molecules. It forms a helical coil when it is dissolved in water. When iodine is added to a starch solution, the solution turns dark blue in color. Iodine molecules are trapped within this helix. The interaction between iodine and starch gives rise to the dark blue complex. Amylopectin contains a similar chain of alpha-glucose molecules, but there are branches in the chain every 30 units or so. In animals, the storage polysaccharide is glycogen. It is the same alpha-glucose chain as amylopectin, except that there are more branches every 10 units or so. Lipids are a general class of molecules which are soluble in organic solvents. This group of compounds includes fat,